I'm Supermoon Tarot, and this video is for my Virgos. Hello, Virgos! <laughs> I love doing that every time. Uh, this is uh, this week is going to be focused on whatever message is the most important one you need to hear. Um, my spirit guides told me for your particular video we're freestyling it, and they're going to tell me how many cards to pull, and we'll kind of just keep asking more questions. So I'm excited for this. This is for my sun, moon, rising, but it's just only about the message resonating. So whatever floats your boat, let's get started. Okay, so what do, what do you need to know right now? I'm being told three, okay. Oh, I am like, my third eye is like, like throbbing in a good way. Like, okay, I, I'm, like, I'm like already very uh, attuned. So essentially right away I know that with the page of wands getting started, you are essentially in this great place in your life where you're like, okay, I'm starting this project. I have this idea. I have this dream. I'm making it happen. I want it to happen. I know what I want. I'm pumped about it. I'm excited about it. Let's make it happen. And then we've got this really great energy around you because the page of wands is just beginning their journey in this project, this idea, this dream. And there's a fun sense of like of a student element to it, especially when we have the moon directly next to it. You're aware that you're not quite sure what to do next and you're pretty open-minded about however to receive this information, but of course you aren't quite sure what it is yet. And the page is a student. So you're like, okay, I'm down to learn. I don't know what I'm going to be learning. I would like this message or direction to appear a little more clearly, but I'm, I'm paying attention. And then this is when we have the moon energy. And I love this about the moon because it's a way of saying, I am giving answers to, it's like the universe going, I'm throwing things in front of you, but I'm on purpose making it very mysterious because the way that you figure out this information is within itself a lesson and an answer. Because sometimes things aren't straightforward because we're getting, okay, so like this is a great way to express the idea of the moon. So when you get synchronistic numbers or random signs from the universe, it doesn't just blanketly mean like you keep seeing one thing over and over and over again. It's not just the message of the number. It's when are you seeing it? How are you feeling about it? It's a couple things all at once. So it's both the number representing it, then the way you're receiving the message is within itself a message and you're receiving a bunch of different things at once. That's like the idea of the moon to both give you an answer, but in turn give you other answers by making it very mysterious because the journey within itself is an answer essentially. Don't worry, we can get more specific than that. And I want to go into the page of, um, not the page, I'm so sorry, the four of pentacles, but I want to pull for the moon because that is what I'm being told. I'm being told four cards for the moon. So let's get Looking over here. Okay, so this is great. Yeah, I'm like very attuned right now. Uh, so with that, when it feels, when I say I'm very attuned, it's like I already know the message before I pull the cards, if that makes sense. So uh, anyways, with the two of wands in reverse, this is showing us that while you might be excited and ready and there's the intention to go forward with the page of wands once you know what's going to happen next, you're not quite sure what to do next. So there's a sort of hindrance. There's the desire, there's the potential to go forward, you're ready to, but you're aware that you need some sort of a plan. You're not trying to um, just kind of non-directionally like it's like it's like the best way to put it is like so let's say you want a job right you want a particular job and concept you're not just running out there filling every application you want to be pretty specific yeah maybe you want to work in a particular field but can you get more specific about what avenue within that field and what's the best place you should apply so you maybe don't you know waste your time with a ton of different applicants it's that kind of concept but you're waiting to ask yourself that very question you're not quite sure that the question is to ask well, which avenue and which place. You're aware it's there. It's like with the moon energy, it's very much on the tip of your tongue, but you haven't quite placed it yet. And with the two of wands showing us like, you're almost there, you haven't quite placed it yet, you're aware of it. And so what's great about this is while that might feel like you're somehow stuck or be a bad thing, you're actually kind of being put in sort of like, think of it like, um, you know, I'm talking about those things, it's totally escaping my mind where you put food in it and and it sits for a bunch of hours before it becomes, 
you know, food becomes like a stew or something like that. You're basically stewing right now in a good way because this is how you're developing what's going on in the Ace of Swords. And this new mindset is going to be extremely helpful in the long run because this is something that you're building sort of a skill. It's like a skill in the way you perceive things and approach things with what's going over here. We can get more specific, don't worry. But with this new mindset, as you approach other issues in the future, in the long term with this project, this plan, this concept, you're moving forward with this career, this avenue, this dream, we'll just call it, you will not have any hiccups because you're going to be able to use this mindset in order to overcome these little future, I don't want to say bumps in the road, but like in life, as you continue to level up, you're going to know how to level up essentially by, by understanding this core issue with this new mindset. What is the core issue? This is very much remnant of the Four of Pentacles, but I am going to pull more cards for the Four of Pentacles. So we have this sort of hybrid going on and you're extremely self-aware. First off, I want to compliment and your spirit guides most likely are complimenting you. My spirit guides are complimenting you when we have the Queen of Pentacles. You have a very strong emotional intelligence at the moment that you should use to your advantage. Essentially, you're really good at, think of yourself with these pentacles and each pentacle is a possibility. Maybe this will bear fruit in the garden. Maybe this is the thing. And you're very good at picking up a pentacle essentially and saying to yourself, does this feel like it will be? You have to interact with the pentacle. You have to interact with the opportunity. Think about it, really focus your attention there. But you're very good at you know, sort of editing the possibilities of which avenue you should go for your dream. So that's great. You have that emotional intelligence that can help you. And that is the way I just described that concept of approaching which avenue through that sort of um, trial and error method. You should be doing that. That's kind of like sort of the new mindset you're taking on. But there is an awareness that you need to kick into this logic and mindset when things are not, like nothing's happening. There's no... How do I put this? Again, you have an emotional intelligence, so you'll be able to know when, but it's when you're trying to apply to different jobs, right? And maybe you're just waiting to see, there's a time period where you're waiting to see a response to whatever you're approaching. And you have to make the educated decision, should I keep waiting and see if any of these things are gonna happen, or am I wasting my tr time and I should try a new avenue? You're going to be able to know when that is, that is the sort of energy popping up in the uh, Seven of Pentacles when we have, um, you're trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results and essentially, you're not gonna get different results. You're, it, it's, it, you're gonna get all, you've gotten out of it all you can, it's not meant to go any further. It's like a dead end kind of vibe. And it's about overcoming those dead ends by taking on what we described before, the picking up of the pentacles, the moving them around and stuff like that. I keep being shown imagery by my spirit guides about the idea that you want to be like the water. That is it. Think of, again, I'm being shown by my spirit guides like a river and these pentacles are at the bottom of the river and you want to be the river. You want to be able to be flexible and go around them and move and not be weighed down by just holding a pentacle, sitting there being the pentacle, being the only possible option, not moving, only seeing yourself as a pentacle, the only possibility in the river. You want to be able to be flexible and change and, and not kind of beat yourself up or, or worry about oh, well, this isn't working out. Okay, I'll try something different. You just kind of want to try it all out, know that you can trust yourself, know when to say when, and essentially use that to your advantage. That's what we have going on over here with the Four of Pentacles. But before I jump into some of the stuff I'm getting from it, I'm going to pull, I'm being told three cards for the Pentacle. Oh, interesting. I was wondering if it was a family thing. Um, so for some of you, because this is a bit of a general reading for all Virgos, this is, so for some of you, it's a family situation for the 10 of, uh, cups in reverse. And for others, we're going to just view it as the mindset of when you're trying to sort of fake happiness. So you're like, yeah, 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 I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's going to work out. It's, I just got to keep hopeful, whatever. That is not going to help or work for the family situation, essentially, do not let them, when it's not working out, kind of pull you in and make you have to be enticed or baited by 
what's we'll just say their their drama and force you to take a four of pentacles mindset someone closed off using all their energy just to hold on to what they have resourceful wise don't make them trick you into even thinking that you don't have enough resources to put out there just don't even give them sort of the energy or time of day and do whatever you can to sort of separate yourself from this because there's no sort of nothing's you already know this it's not where you're meant to put your energy at the moment right now it's not even worth like you know dealing with at the moment and it could potentially be a distraction just as much as it is a distraction for people who are sort of being like well you know i just gotta wait a little longer I, i'm being hopeful I'm, you know it will work out no do not pretend if you're not happy and you're not happy with the results you're getting over and we're talking about relatively short period of times and you'll easily feel when it's either been too short or too long of a wait between potential avenues for this project to come again dream we'll just call it dream to come into flourishing you'll know when you're like it's been a week and a half i'm good i'm ready to move on to the next avenue and then just kind of like move on don't keep forcing yourself to think, oh, well, I just got to give it more time or I, I'm hoping. Don't hope. Don't um, don't fixate. Try something different. Try something new. That's fine. You're getting your answer. Move on. You got to trial and error this stuff. And you're going to basically save yourself a bunch of time and give yourself more of a creative, like turn your dream into something you didn't even know it could be by being more open that let's say you want to work at this dream place. You have to be open-minded that that might not be the place that fulfills your dream of like, let's say you, you wanted to be an artist. Maybe that particular agency isn't hiring you and another agency you didn't know you know you didn't even know existed is actually your dream agency so if that one doesn't it doesn't work out go you can still be an artist but go to the different agency you see what i'm saying and that's why <coughs> i'm so sorry um what's going on over here so we have the three of wands representing the more you focus on like i've got this idea as long as i see the passion of what i got me excited in the page of wands i'm focusing on it internally i'm putting it out there to the universe i'm letting everyone know this is what i'm connected to you will hear back about your dreams do not let other things pull you from outside of yourself outside of your viewpoint do not look outside at your you know when people aren't making you happy distractions ideas always turn back in and go why am i doing this what am i excited about what am i doing and then this is essentially the promise in the page of cups is like you will always hear good news imagine if this is the distraction focusing trying to cover up and be like oh yeah i'm fine everything's great or the messy family situation we talked about notice how the page of cups doesn't want to offer their good promises and good news to that situation so as long as you're here you're always going to have it's all it's basically saying that that dream that you are figuring out what's the what's the message what's the idea what do i gotta figure out it's right around the corner it's being offered to you. just really focus on that internal stuff so that's what we're talking about when we have the moon card because the page of cups is somebody who is getting signs from the universe and these are very mysterious signs it's like you're wondering where should i go where should i um apply when we talk about the dream and we're just using career as an option or as, a, as a possibility this is you suddenly one day being distracted and your your friend being like hey you want to go to this i'm gonna go to the shop you want to come tag along and then at the shop you suddenly see there's an application for your dream job and this is you got you got your attention brought there by a synchronicity and suddenly you know you're just following the weird natural inexplainable flow of where to go next essentially which is really beautiful and remember we don't want to be like the four of pentacles we don't want to be holding on to one option one avenue one path we want to be like the moon and the water and the water being associated with the moon with intuition and flowing and okay with moving from the river to the lake to another river i'm getting a bit woo woo with the way i'm expressing myself but i think you get the overall concept so i'm excited for you you're working some stuff out you're figuring some stuff out that's going to enable you to keep moving ahead in the long term it get excited get have fun with this sort of mystery of like what to do next it will reveal itself and we know a little bit about how you can kind of trial and error and figure that out essentially but it will feel very like 
wow, I just feel like I was meant to go here and be at this next place and this is what I'm doing next. So it's going to be fun. Don't think about it too deeply. Let it unravel to a certain mysterious extent. But yeah, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. I am wishing you the best. I will see you in the next one. 